Hi everybody, this is Pepe Le Pew, and this uh, pre-calculus lesson is called uh, sinusoidal functions. And so we're going to use the last lesson that we just did uh, to use it on real-world applications. So uh, here's one right here. The table contains the times that the sun rises and sets on the 15th of every month of, uh, in Knights Landing, California. Okay, so we're going to calculate the minutes of each day. So these are the times uh, that the sun rises and sets on the 15th of each day. Okay, so for example, in January, it rose at 719 and it set at, uh, at 6 o'clock at night. So what we have to do is calculate uh, the amount of hours in, in each uh, month right there. Okay, and these are on the 15th of each month. So in January, for example, uh, uh, from 719 to six o'clock that's 10 hours and 41 minutes okay and then change 41 minutes to hours so 41 divided by 60 is 0.68 so 10 hours 41 minutes is 10.68 hours so I would want you to do that for the rest for February March April May and all the way through December right there you're gonna need uh, these numbers in terms of uh, decimals and hours right here I've done that already for us here you guys so so uh, here's the hours of daylight for each of those months right there Okay, just to save time. Now we're going to use our graphing calculator, so hopefully you have your TI-83 or 84 handy. Uh, you'll need it right uh, here coming up. So you're going to plot these in your graphing calculator, and then uh, the months are going to be, uh, instead of putting in January, February, this is going to be month one, month two, month three, month four, and so on and so on and so on. And then these hours are going to go in list two. Okay, so what I would clear your list first, so I'd go ahead and turn it on. Hit your second function memory, which is um, uh, uh, above your plus sign, and then hit number four, which is clear all lists. Hit enter, and it'll say done. Okay, and then go ahead and go to stat, edit, and then your list one is blank. So now you can list one through twelve in list one, and list all the hours in list two. Okay, and when you do that, we're going to go ahead and uh, and and also, you guys, since uh, there's twelve months in a year then your 13th month would be January again so that'd just be list one again or uh, month one again and your 14th would be February again that would be month two and so on so it's going to repeat you guys so it becomes cyc uh, cyclical it goes in cycles okay so we're going to graph these in your graphing calculator <clears throat> okay so what I want you to do now is go up into stat plot which is above y equals so second function y equals and turn on your stat plot. If it's off, turn it on. And then <clears throat> uh, you're going to go ahead and turn that on. And then uh, and make sure you have your X list is list one, your Y list is list two, and your type right there. Make sure you're graphing the first type. It's a scatter plot, you guys. So make sure you're graphing. There's six different kinds in there. I see bar graphs. I see line graphs. I see a box and whisker plot, and the other one's a modified box and whisker plot, and so on. So. Anyways, we want that first one, a scatter plot, okay? So we're going to graph these in our graphing calculator, and we're going to use the scale. My x scale is negative 1 to 13. My y scale is negative 1 to 14, so that would be in your window, okay? So you should get a graph that kind of looks like that after you've done that. You guys with me? All right, so <clears throat> this is called a sinusoidal function and can be written as either uh, y equals a sine of k theta plus c plus h, or, uh, or instead replace the cosine. Okay, now typically if it starts and ends at zero, then we're going to use the sine curve. If it starts and ends at the high spot, we'll use the cosine curve. This one's going to be a sine curve. Okay, and actually sine and cosine are just phase shifts of each other. So actually you can use either one. It's just going to be different phase shifts. So we're going to write a function that models the amount of daylight for night's landing right here. Okay, so the data can be modeled as this, where t is in time and months right here. So A is half the difference of the average. It's the average of the most and the least of daylight. So, for example, here it is right there. See, here's my midline right here. This is my, this is my H, basically, right here. And so my A is how much it goes up and how much it goes down right there. Okay, so, um, so if, I take, uh, uh, if I take the tallest and the smallest and subtract them and then take half of it, that'll tell me what A is right there. All right, and then H is uh, you, you add them together and divide by 2. So if I add them together and divide by 2, I get 12.41. All right, and then so, uh, so since the period is 12, because it's, uh, um, it's going on 12-month on cycle, 
then uh, 2 pi over k is equal to 12. Okay, so it's always 2 pi over k equals your period, so k ends up being pi over 6. Okay, so look, I'm getting all the pieces right there. Pi over 6 goes right there. Uh, I found out my h, which is 12.41, goes right there. I found out my amplitude is 1.61. So I have uh, all of those in there, and I, I have that so far. Okay, so now to get c, we're going to substitute in one of the known points. Okay, and I'll just use that first one, 1, 10.8. All right, so I'm going to plug in 1, 10.8. All right, so 1 goes for the time, and the 10 point, uh, or 10.68, sorry, goes for uh, the amount of daylight, which is my list 2 right there. I'm going to subtract 12.41 from both sides, then I'm going to divide by 1.61. Okay, so I get that decimal right there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift sign both sides, and when I shift sign both sides, it just gives me this inside stuff right here. So go ahead and hit shift sign 0.907. That'll give you a decimal representation, and then you subtract uh, pi over 6. So whatever this is, take that, go shift sign 0.907, and then subtract pi over 6. You should get C to be about negative uh, 1.66. Okay, so there's my equation right there. That's good stuff. We can use that for predicting now. So in general, uh, we're going to use the sine function if the, wave, uh, if the wave begins at the minimum and cosine if it begins at the maximum. So the only difference is it's the phase shift, okay? And, and this uh, graph began at the minimum and ended at the minimum, so I'm going to use the sine. So use this model to estimate the number of hours of daylight and night's landing on September 30th. Okay, remember these are, were on the 15th, you guys. So September 30th is halfway between the 15s. So September is the ninth month, so it becomes your time is 9.5. Okay, so I'm going to substitute in 9.5 into that equation right there. We have calculators that will crank that all out, and you get about 11.86 hours. Okay, that's pretty good stuff, man. Let's try and calculate this in our uh, uh, curve in our graphing calculator. So this is what I want you to do. Go to stat plot. Make sure your, your, uh, your stat plot's turned on, and your list 1, list 2. Okay, and then go ahead. So when you got it in there, now go to hit stat. Scroll over to calculate, okay, and then down to sine reg, okay, because it's a, this is the sinusoidal curve. So um, uh, hit sine reg, and in mine it's C, okay. So you got to scroll way down past the seven, eight, nine, then you get to C, and you get uh, you get sine reg. So you're gonna plug in, plug in list one, list two, comma y sub one, and y sub one is found in vars, okay. Hit vars, okay. Hit y vars. Okay, so scroll over to y bars. Go ahead and hit uh, uh, function. Okay, and then you see one is y sub one, two is y sub two. So if you press one, and then um, after you hit the comma, you'll see this appear y sub one. Then press enter. Okay, and then so what you can do now is graph. So go ahead and hit graph, you guys, and it'll you'll see the line graph right on top of of all those points right there. And I don't have that for us, and so. Wished I did. I don't have that for us, but uh, it should graph right on top of all of that.